Our guts, or rather what we put in them, get a lot of attention these days. Clean living celebrities and diet trends claiming what we eat influences our overall well-being, even our mental health. What's often lacking is scientific rigour. But researchers in this lab in Belgium have now produced compelling evidence the health of our brains may be linked to our bellies. The first hints came from studies of mice. Mice are not men. It's very difficult to take a psychological interview from a mouse or, or, or understand what a depressed mouse would look and behave like. Uh, so it was very important to, to transfer this, this research into human studies. The team processed gut samples, yes, frozen faeces, from more than 2,000 Belgian and Dutch citizens. They found two groups of gut bacteria were consistently less common in depressed people. They also found these two types of bugs produce chemical compounds important for making neurotransmitters essential in the brain. The team point out they haven't proven a link between gut bugs and brains, but it's a big hint at the importance of the trillions of bacteria that live in and on our bodies, our microbiome. There's a lot of evidence growing that the microbiome is really critically involved in many, many chronic diseases. And I think the future will be that we will be using poo samples for diagnosis and that we will be using gut bugs as medication. And it adds more weight to the idea that a gut-healthy diet high in fibre and plant compounds is important, something they've long been teaching at this cookery school in London. So we're going to make a salad, we're going to boil a few pre lentils, we're going to open a few tins of beans, chickpeas, mm -hmm. fresh pulses, dried pulses, and also a whole pile of fresh herbs, so it's green and vibrant and really tasty. Your gut loves variety, but it also makes for such interesting eating. Proving whether mental health relies on our bellies, brains or both will require large clinical trials involving thousands of people. But there's a conviction among scientists, call it a gut feeling, that our microbiome leaves much to be discovered. Tom Clark, News at 10.